If you are a victim of domestic and family violence, life is already incredibly challenging. With the advent of COVID-19, those challenges have increased dramatically. We've already heard the figures of a 75% increase in the number of Google searches for domestic violence services. Um, if you are a victim, you are probably now at home 24 hours a day with a perpetrator who is watching your every move. I've been disturbed to hear from our emergency department staff that the reduction in sporting injuries and road trauma has been partially offset by trauma caused by domestic and family violence. My government also announced previously an extra $5.5 million going towards helping the services and today I'm pleased to announce that we will provide an extra $2 million. We know that sometimes people being in confined places for long periods of time uh, leads to distress. We will have experts from across the state, from across a range of areas of knowledge and experience to look at what are the key issues and how do we need to solve them now. Issues like how do we be accessible to victims whose only opportunity to call might be the two minutes that they spend behind a closed door in the toilet. Service providers are saying to us that they are very concerned, that they are too fearful. Uh, they're fearful, for example, of going to shelters and feeling like they and their children may be exposed to COVID-19. They're fearful of what accommodation options they are. They're not able to access information about what services. So many service providers are very concerned.